secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z... I have an unusual assignment for you and Miss Norwood. You are to carry certain state papers to the capital of another country and deliver them. It is a rather dangerous mission. Two have already lost their lives in attempts which have been made to seize the documents. An international spy named Lederber is suspected. Your duty is to see that the papers reach their destination. They will be given you at the address on this card. You will also receive additional instructions. Report to me as soon as you have completed this assignment. An hour later, Agent Z received his instructions from a world-famous statesman. He was told that, if possible, the papers were to reach their destination within 24 hours. He received them and went directly to his rooms to confer with Pat. Pat, we've got to get started right away. If we move fast, we may complete our job before anyone knows the job has been assigned to us. We'll start this afternoon. Uh, You'll start, Pat. I'll wait until evening. Now, here's my plan. It's nearly 11 o'clock. Now, at 1 o'clock this afternoon, the Trans-European Express leaves. I've already reserved a compartment for you. You're staying here? No, I'll follow you early this evening by plane. Now, let me explain. Here are the papers, and they're more important than any we've ever carried. Now, I've bought these two money belts, one for you and one for me. Yes. I'm going to tear these documents into little pieces, mix them up, and then divide the pieces between us. When we arrive, we'll paste them back together. It's a good plan, Z. If either one of us is seized... All the spies would get would be a lot of scraps of paper they couldn't put together. Exactly. I don't expect we'll have any trouble. Now, let's go over to this table, watch the papers as I tear them. We don't want to lose any of the pieces. The windows are down. There's no draft. Go ahead. All right. Ah, I guess the papers are torn small enough. Now we'll mix them up. Now open the two envelopes. I've got them. Uh, Half of these pieces in your envelope, the other half in mine. All right. Seal them up. Here's yours, Dave. Now we'll put these envelopes in the money belts and wear the belts under our clothing. Pat, if we're let a burst, stop either one of us. He's going to find that he's made a mistake. And now start packing. You have less than two hours before your train leaves. Would Z's plan be successful? At the same time he was explaining it to Pat, the spy, Weir Ledeber, was issuing instructions to one of his henchmen. 
I tell you they're going to attempt to deliver the documents today, Onyad. I heard from a man inside the embassy an hour ago. We have them frightened. They've called in Special Agent Z to carry them. Agent Z? Ah, you too have heard of him. He's a dangerous man. But this time he meets defeat. I don't like it, Ladybug. What is there to worry about? Listen to me. Agent Z left the embassy with the papers an hour ago. Zara followed him. He went directly to his rooms. Zara is there now. I want you to join him. All right. I'll go now. If either Agent Z or his assistant Patricia Norwood leave, I want them followed. If either of the two go to the railroad station or to the flying field, telephone me at once. If they attempt to leave the country, I am going with them. A few minutes later, Pat left Z's rooms. She carried a small overnight bag and went immediately to the railroad station. There, she boarded a Trans-European Express and locked herself in her compartment. Just before the train was ready to leave, Will Lederber appeared and talked briefly with the man who'd followed Pat. I followed her, Lederber. She boarded 20 minutes ago. Good. She must have the papers. I am sure of it. I watched her as she bought her ticket. This is the time we outwit agency. He thought that by sending a woman he would fool us. But no one would be suspicious. <laughs> it was a good plan. But it didn't work. The train is ready to leave. What compartment is she? Number nine. The door is locked. We'll have a hard time making her open. I am not going to attempt to make her open the door. She will never know I am on the train. Oh, yes, then, but... How will I get the papers? Simple, my friend. I will wait until she arrives at her destination. It would be too late for her to deliver the documents tonight. That means but one thing, a hotel. During the night, the papers will disappear. Now I leave. Good luck. Pat arrived in a distant capital. As Lederber suspected, she went at once to the Continental Hotel and registered. It had been arranged for Agent Z to meet her there later in the evening when his plane arrived. While she awaited his arrival, she ate a leisurely dinner, then went back to her 12th floor room. As she opened her door, she looked down the muzzle of an ugly automatic pistol. Oh! Close the door, Miss Norwood. Who are you? What do you want? Close the door. Don't cry out. It would be much nicer if we talked privately. Close it, I said. Now, what do you want? I think you know, Miss Norwood. I have come for the state papers you are delivering. Then you've come to the wrong person. I don't think so. Lying will do you no good. I know that Agent Z received the papers this morning. He took them to his rooms. A short time later, you left and came here to the city where the papers are to be delivered. It all fits together very nicely. Where are they? I haven't them. I hope I won't find it necessary to kill you. You are very beautiful, and that would be unpleasant. I tell you, I haven't the papers. Then where are they? I won't tell you. You feel this gun unless you do. Oh, don't. He thought I might be followed. That's why he didn't let me carry the papers. I took them to the railroad station with me. But there, I nailed them to myself. They won't be delivered for at least another hour. If you are not telling the truth... It is the truth. You were following me. I'm surprised you didn't see me go to the mailbox. Then we will wait. You will sit over there and I will remain in this chair here by the door facing you. If you attempt to move, I will shoot. by. Was Z on his way? And if he did arrive, would he come directly to Pat's rooms, or would he telephone first? Pat watched the clock. As the hands reached 10.45, she decided to again attempt to outwit Lederber. It is 10.45, Miss Norwood. Unless your letter arrives within the next 15 minutes, uh, <laughs> let us hope it will arrive. 
You wouldn't dare shoot me. The sound of your gun would attract others in the hotel. Perhaps. But uh, there are other ways. For example, you might fall from your window. Uh, that would be an accident, would it not? And I would have plenty of time to get away. No. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> you couldn't anyway. You forget the balcony. Balcony? What balcony? Why, the one outside my window. It runs all the way along the side of the building. <laughs> I was sure you came in that way. I thought you'd taken a room down the hall, walked along the balcony, and entered through the French windows. No. Oh, if I had known... Be quiet. That must be your letter, they'd say, arriving. Ask who it is. Who is it? Z, Pat. I just got here. Let me in. Agent Z, you've tricked me. He's bringing the papers himself. Don't go near the door. Is there anything wrong, Pat? Let me in. Tell him just a minute. Just a minute, Z. Now, do as I tell you. I am going to back through the window and stand on your balcony. I will keep both you and Agent Z covered. I'm going out now. Don't try anything. Remember, you will both be covered. Stop! Pat! Pat, what's the matter? Why are you as white as a ghost? Letterbo is here, Z. He came for the papers. He followed me. Oh, where is he? He backed off the window, Z. I told him there was a balcony out there. Here, stand aside, Pat. I'll get him. No, no, you won't have to, Z. There's no balcony out there. I lied to him. Don't you understand? There's no balcony out there, and he backed out the window. Agent Z reporting K-7. Estate papers have been delivered. It will be unnecessary for us to track down Weir Letterbo, the spy. Letterbo was killed in an accident last night. The case is closed. Spies and secret agents alike lead dangerous lives. Often their battle is one of wits, and the loser's stake is death. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. (laughs) 